So then our next talk is from uh, Mamana, who's going to tell us about some of the data harmonization algorithms that he's been working on. Mamana. Uh, th thanks, Nikki. Uh, and I guess as everyone has uh, really enjoyed this workshop. And I, I think uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, just to uh, to take us through uh, you know the the algorithms uh, that we uh, we've been working on uh, in Asia Africa, especially for the ammunition uh, uh, process uh, that uh, that uh, we've been doing for the CBD project uh, that Catherine uh, presented. So I just have a few quick slides, then uh, we will go uh, into the exercise. So it basically, uh, once you so once you, you've discovered your, your, your data, uh, the data, the data set that you're interested in, uh, we've seen uh, a lot of examples. Uh, we've, see, we've seen the, the ITC uh, Atlas browser uh, colors. So you, you, you've localized the data set that you, 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 want, you want to harmonize uh, and you, you, you have access to the data sets. Uh, then you, just want to combine the data set so that you can do some analysis, you know, uh, uh, look at a uh, scientific question. So in, in this exercise or, or in this example, we're going to use uh, this uh, two synthetic uh, data sets uh, that uh, have been uh, developed uh, in the context of uh, the SINCA project. Uh, the first one, uh, the uh, it, the, the uh, it, it's a data set based on uh, the core data uh, in Europe, uh, developed by uh, one of the Sinica partners uh, in Switzerland. Uh, and the second one is uh, one the one that we developed uh, based on the Estrafica uh, core phenotype uh, model. So as you can see, uh, these two data sets, uh, you can see that the effect uh, uh, in the ID is just to, to show that they're synthetic data. And as you can see, uh, the, the variables uh, are represented differently uh, in the European uh, gender, uh, let's say age, uh, it's called age, but uh, in the, the, the history bound synthetic data, we're calling it uh, uh, old, uh, about how old are you? So you can see if you, if you want to, to to go to merge this data or to look at this data together, you'll need uh, to do some harmonization that we've been looking at. And uh, the, the process that uh, we uh, yeah, uh, that we look at, uh, uh, it's still uh, ongoing. Yeah, we've been uh, building on it uh, for years. And, and I guess uh, some of the talks that uh, we had in this workshop uh, that have been really useful uh, in helping us uh, or giving us some insights how we could take this forward. So how we're doing it now is that we, we're using uh, uh, a, a model. Uh, in this exercise, we're going to use a Sinica model, which is basically a JSON uh, file uh, describing uh, what uh, the data is. So the variable names, uh, the type, the type, and also some uh, some other information that you can have. So it's basically uh, a, a model uh, that uh, was built uh, for the Sinica project from which uh, the Gecko, the Gecko uh, ontology that was uh, derived. So we're going to use the Sinica model and just use a part of it. And uh, we, we assume that uh, the data uh, is, uh, has been cleaned or the two data sets uh, have been cleaned. So, uh, so that uh, we can do the ammunition straight. So the tool, uh, if the data is not clean, the tool will try to uh, to, to tell you we raise some uh, some 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 errors uh, based on the model. So if you say that uh, for age, for instance, uh, you have uh, text, 
uh, instead, instead of numbers, the tool will just raise uh, uh, an error, but will not do anything else. So you assume that uh, the data set is, uh, is clean, and uh, then we use the model to generate a uh, mapping file. Uh, so far, uh, except the process of generating the map mapping file from the, the model, uh, the rest is done uh, manually. But uh, we, yeah, we have plans to try to, to make uh, some of the, the steps based on, based on uh, some of the talks that we, that we have in, uh, in this workshop, of course. And then the, the amortization tool uh, is just a set of Python scripts uh, uh, wrapped uh, in, uh, so the, the pipeline, the old pipeline uh, is the next flow pipeline that you can run uh, uh, and package uh, with uh, 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 a docker image so that you don't need to install anything, but you need to, 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 to be able to, uh, to have next flow and be able to run it uh, locally. Uh, and we're also providing this Python uh, script uh, in uh, Jupyter Notebooks. And once you <coughs> you you run your uh, your your amortization tool on uh, uh, each data set, then you you need to to combine them uh, to your analysis. So as I as I mentioned, uh, the the script is still uh, yeah, it's still being uh, built up. Uh, so we assume that the data set is, uh, is clean and we're not supporting yet some uh, uh, complex uh, data transformations, uh, for instance, uh, going from one, one unit to another one or doing some kind of calculations uh, like combining uh, uh, weight and I to, to, uh, to the DMI. Uh, and as I mentioned, the, the mapping is almost uh, done uh, yeah, manually. So we, yeah, so we we see in future how we can automate some of this. So we also have to, uh, to complete the documentation and uh, improve the login that we have uh, for the tool. So uh, the uh, for this exercise, uh, we've shared uh, the. The notebooks uh, and uh, all the test uh, data sets uh, that we we using here in the workshop uh, folder. I'm just clicking the link. Uh, there. If you want to try uh, or follow along, you are able to do that. Uh, so everything is in the, the uh, so. so in the Google folder, uh, if you uh, if you go into resources, uh, we, we put there uh, in the composition uh, uh, exercise. Uh, we put there uh, the two notebooks uh, that we need uh, that we want to use for this exercise. Uh, the first one is uh, to generate a mapping file and the second one is to do uh, the, the uh, analyzing the data set and then merging. So everything is here with the, the, the synthetic data set that we don't use uh, all along. So uh, I'm going to use uh, a local version uh, of uh, of the Python notebook for this. And as I said, the first step is to do, uh, to generate the mapping file. And for that, uh, if you open this notebook, uh, you have uh, the Python script that uh, does that. And then uh, you, you specify your, your files or data set that you want to use. and. Uh, which is a JSON file, and then it will generate, uh, it will generate uh, an Excel file for you. So if we look at the JSON file quickly, it's basically what you have. Uh, and for this exercise, uh, we, uh, 
basically uh, Yeah, so just using the demographic uh, uh, property, so just using its first parts uh, to, to, to generate the model. So just its first parts, and we added uh, GID uh, to, uh, to this, uh, so for, for the participant ID. So running this, uh, if I set to load, uh, to run your, to load your data, or the functions, and then you can uh, load your data sets, and then running this uh, to generate a file, uh, an Excel file, uh, which uh, which will look which will look like this. Uh, so to come with uh, the, the templates. Of the mapping that uh, we use to map the data sets, uh, the static data set uh, to the new, uh, the new, the new model. So there you have the data set information, the variable name, the data set, uh, the coding, uh, the formats, and then what the new variables are in the in the new model. Uh, what the coding is. And uh, the type, and then uh, specify your mapping here. So this is some the template that you 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 have, and as I said, uh, most of the, the the work here is done manually so far. So uh, we we did that. Uh, I did that before. Uh, I just prepared one for the Brownex uh, and. Uh, yeah, the data sets. Uh, so for H Africa, uh, H Travelness uh, data sets, the mapping file looks like, like this. So if you look at the data set itself, uh, this is what we have. So there are more, much, much more samples, but I've just taken the first, the first ten, the, the first ten samples so that you can use for this exercise, and we have the the, the average uh, height and so on. So we're going to use some of these fields uh, for the acquisition. So what we do here is we mapping uh, the uh, the ID, which is the participant ID, to PID, and uh, on the mapping, the new to mapping, uh, new to study mapping, just say what that new value would be. So the same will be for age, uh, which is how about are you, and will be mapped to age. And then uh, what gets interesting, uh, it's uh, for instance for gender, which is a text. And in uh, in Africa, uh or in the, the synthetic, the extra synthetic data set, uh, we can see, yeah, we can see, uh, we can see here that it's coded as male, uh, female, and uh, other. And so we, uh, and the, in the new model, uh, it, it's one for male, two for female, and three for uh, other. So we just specify that in the matrix. So map anything male in the order uh, to one, anything female uh, in the order set to two, and three to uh, order to, to, to three. So these are the mapping that we look for the extra data sets. And if you look at uh, the SID data sets, that's how it looks like. And you see age is called age. Uh, which is uh, WT, uh, I, for instance, we call uh, HT, and, and so on. And gender, it's, uh, it's coded, I uh, think, zero for female and uh, one for male. So you can see that if you want to merge the data sets, uh, we'll be having uh, 
some discrepant data set. So uh, we're going to then use uh, the second the second notebook to try to harmonize uh, as of as in the first notebook, uh, the first part is just uh, the, the Python script that we're using uh, for logging uh, and doing the transformation within the mapping file. So we can run this and then we can load the first data set uh, for the Shibonet, uh, which is uh, where we need the mapping file that generated the actual data set. Uh, then this will be the output. So you specify this, then you can call the demand function. And then, uh, uh, and the output has been written and given us some warning. Uh, so only data set that you, or uh, the, the variables that you specify in your mapping file uh, will be, uh, will be harmonized. So for instance, in, in this case, you can see that you only specify in, uh, in six, but if you look at the data set, you have more than six variables. So only uh, the fields that you specify in your, in your mapping file uh, will be uh, processed. So the outputs then that we have, we look like, we look some, something like this. So you see that for, uh, for gender, for instance, uh, in the original data set was coded uh, male and female and other, but you can see that it all transformed to the new uh, mapping. Uh, we can also do the same uh, for the second data set, specify the mapping file, uh, the actual data and the outputs, and run this and then call a function. Then also receive some warnings where only uh, processing or using the, the fields that, that, that was specified in the mapping file. And if you look at uh, what we have here, uh, is, yeah, again, for gender, now we have everything coded as uh, one and two. Uh, uh, but previously, I think it was zero and one. So we have everything transformed then uh, in, into the same model and we can easily uh, reverse them. So using any tool uh, and any, uh, no, any programming language, uh, in this case, we just using Panda to do that. So uh, we unmerged this. So we having one data set uh, with both the extra, extra bonus uh, and uh, SIV data sets, uh, where, for instance, we have the same coding for gender, and we have at least assuming that we have the same, the same unit for uh, height and age. And what is missing, we can see that uh, birth place was not collected in the second data set, and weight, for instance, uh, was not uh, harmonized uh, in the extra, extra bonnets of data sets. So I think this basically uh, the, the harmonizing uh, harmonization uh, algorithm and some script that we have right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, we continue to work on it and uh, uh, improve it uh, so that it can, that can be used uh, not only to traffic, but uh, also anyone who would like to use it. Uh, I think I'll stop here and yeah, I have any questions. Thank you. Are there any questions? So this is an example of an algorithm. Um, so this was developed to, to deal with CBD data, but um, as you can see, it's been applied here to the synthetic data. Um, I don't know if anyone tried it. Um, well, Roman was doing it. So all the data sets and you know, everything you need for this is in there. Um, Lex has also put some um, exercises into the folders. <clears throat> so please feel free to try any of these sort of after the course.